Can we just peek out? Holy shit, relax. What the hell? Finally, the last episode of Fears to Fathom is released and it's called Woodbury Getaway and we are going to jump straight into it. But first, if you like this kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe and let's jump into Fears to Fathom, Woodbury Getaway. Needed coffee to get done with the day. Oh, so I'm working? Alright, we got some different amounts here. Checking that everything seems alright. What, what's this? Type Invader? Is it a game? Oh, you're gonna type the words! What is this cool game? Oh my god! No, no, no! Lake! Thousand trip! No, we're dying! You know what? I don't have time for this. I, I need to I need to stick to the tasks. I need to stick to the objectives. But that's pretty fun that you have an actual game in the game. And we're at the office right now. Aha, okay. We need to go and get some coffee. Simple as that. Sydney wants some coffee, some good old coffee. And apparently we work in a consult firm, for, for, <laughs> a consult firm. Uh, oh, people down there, everything is going on. It's late evening, but people are still out doing their own business. Oh, we got a bag of chips here. Throw it away. I love throwing things away in these games, but now we're going to focus on the coffee. Needed to prepare a cup of coffee. What? What do you want me to do? My hands were full, okay. We're gonna grab... Oh. I needed water. Are we gonna get some water first? So this is a capsule uh, machine. It's not as good coffee as brewing coffee, I can tell you that. You need to grain those beans. Not use capsules like this, it's no, it's not the same thing. But okay, whatever flows the boat. I needed an empty cup, place it right there. You really need to do everything step by step, but I, I kind of like that. There's something with these games that brings like the 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 real life atmosphere, and uh, I like that. I needed to put on the lid just to detail like that. Put on the lid, grab your cup of coffee, and let's go. What are we gonna do now? Sip the coffee. Needed to use the restroom. I can imagine that when drinking 50 cups of coffee each night. Why are we working overtime, by the way? Okay, so here's the bathrooms. And apparently we are a woman, so we are using the ladies' restroom. That should be right. Okie dokie, so we can just pick whatever we want to. I need to check the place first. Let's sip some coffee meanwhile. No, I don't want to go with that. I hate to take the first booth in a in, in a public bathroom. I don't know what it is, but I'd like to take the ones further in. It feels like more private in a way. I, I don't know really why, but I'm Swedish. That's why. We, we, we don't like being close to people at all. So let's go to the toilets. Have a little dump. <laughs> we got a meter for the for the peeing too, for the toilet visit. Almost there! Oh, there! Can we sip the coffee meanwhile? Hmm, someone is coming! That's great! Uh, we need to flush. There we go! Anyone out there? 
Guess not. <laughs> this is so typical. What the hell, dude? This is so typical of the Fears to Fathom games. These freaking jump scares. Even if you might know if there is an upcoming jump scare or like have a little sense of feeling that something might come up, it doesn't matter. They get you all the time. I'm so sorry, ma'am. I didn't know you were in here. Okay, I, I guess it's not okay, but I guess we go with it's okay. I like to clean late because it's pretty quiet at this hour and because you're a perb. That's why. You're working late again, huh? You young folks sure do put in the hours. Make sure to take care of yourself. Yeah, thank okay, you you too. I guess he's a good guy. Have a sip of coffee. Yeah, he's doing a great job. So I uh catch you up later, sir. I meet a lot late night workers, but you're the one that's most dedicated ones here. Oh, he seems so happy. I wonder what happens if we throw the cup on, on him. Right in your face! Oh, we can't throw it away. Okay, that, maybe that's best. <laughs> maybe that's best. G to throw. Can we throw it now? In your face! Clean up my mess! <laughs> Are you gonna clean that up? No. I don't wanna... I don't wanna be rude. He's a nice guy. Let's get out of here. Sip the coffee. Take another sip, will ya? Are we going back to our office spot? Or. Yeah, phone is ringing. We got a call to take care of. Hello? Grab the phone. Go for Sydney Harper. Yeah, that's kind of our name, so. Hey, Harp, it's Mike. Hey, Mike! I've been trying to call yourself for the last two hours. It just keeps going to voicemail. Is everything all right? Yeah, my phone's been acting up lately. Oh, snap. I was starting to think maybe you were ignoring me. <laughs> uh, no, no, I uh, don't. You fucking creep. Of course I do. No, he didn't get cut kidding. out. <laughs> um, <laughs> Awkward laugh. Uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> what are you still doing at work? It's getting kind of late. Uh, just more overtime. Damn, Harp, that sounds rough. Good thing I called to cheer you up. Anything for the money. Um, about our trip, did you get a chance to book the rental house? Just really wanted to see you. And Nora. Are we going on the trip with him? I was going to do it after work. No worries, Harper. I don't want to stress you out. As long as you book it tonight, I think it'll be fine. You are stressing me out already, so, uh, thanks. Hey. Yeah? I was thinking, since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. It'd be nice to catch up. No. You know, save on gas and relive the good old days. Just a little bit of Mike and Sydney time before Nora gets there. Okay, so we don't have any good options here. I mean, we have like, yes or yes. <laughs> Those are the options we have right now. So sure, sounds good. Uh, it's kind of the same thing, so... Right. Uh, I, I guess know. I'll let you get back to work then. Well, yes. Now oh, I have to uh, work... Wait, one more thing. I even have to work more overtime now because you talk too much. When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under $100 a night. Under $100 a night. Nora and I were talking and she's been on a pretty tight budget. Things haven't been going very well for her. Yeah, poor thing. Sure, I'll find something affordable. It'll be just like the old college days. You always had a knack for finding the best spots. I should really make the booking right, now. Right, of course. Stop right, holding yeah. me up. I'm just excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, talk to you later, Harp. Yeah, bye-bye. Jesus Christ. He seems like a little bit too interested in us. A little bit too much. Browser. How? Okay, so it doesn't matter what I type right now. She's just going straight for rent a cabin. So let's just go with that, I guess. Rentacabin.com. Find a place to stay. Rent 
any cabin from hosts around the world. Wood bury. Wow, this is a decent place, but 350 a night, a little bit too expensive for us. We got a cheap bastard in the crew, so uh No. I mean, $100 is enough for each night. 99 at night. That's pretty decent. We have TV, kitchen, garden, parking place, fishing possibilities. That's nice. So, I guess we only have this option. It doesn't have the best reviews, but uh, can we read the reviews? No, let's just book the cabin. <laughs> let's just go for it. It seems like a cozy place. Come on, what else do you need? Three guests, two bedroom, two beds, 1.5 shared bathrooms. That's perfect. That's all we need. And I guess there are three of us, so book it. Yeah, we did it. We did it. Hey, I'm assuming you get hundreds of thousands of stories sent daily. So I'll give you a basic rundown of something that happened to me. I'm sorry if some of it is written weird, but I was rushed. Mm -hmm. When I was in my early 20s, I worked at a big consulting firm in my city. Life at the firm was a constant juggle of deadlines, client meetings, and trying to prove my worth. Which didn't leave much room for leisure, let alone a social life. The job paid well, sure, but at the expense of my mental peace... Oh, that, that was it. But at the expense of my mental peace. I'm sorry, guys. I'm Sydney Harper, and this story takes place during one of those days. One of my colleague friends, Mike, suggested that we take a weekend getaway to rural Vermont. Which sounded like a perfect break from the cycle of work. And my other friend, Nora, was quick to jump on board as well. The plan was simple. We, we rent a small cabin, close our shift early on Friday, leave and be back on Monday. Mike came to pick me up. Two days later, huh? What the hell, dude? What are you so happy for? Who are you? What the hell? Uh, answer. H how do we answer? Pulling into the park is garage now you were we supposed to hang up on him this book do you even answer the phone anymore call me please i'm off work now okay i'm heading that way pulling into the parking garage now now you're downstairs yet so we're in, in some way we're trying to avoid him it feels like we don't like him that much actually rentacabin.com rick wilson okay we're talking to the host here Thanks for booking my property in Woodbury for December 10 to 12. I'm Rick, your host. Let me know if you have any questions and feel free to contact me for anything during your day. Looking forward to hosting you. Thanks, Rick. We're looking forward to it. Just confirming the checking time. It's 3 p.m., right? Yes, that is correct. The key will be in a lockbox by the front door. The code is 5176. Call me if you have any trouble getting it open. Have a safe trip. Thank you. Okay, so this is just as it works with Airbnb. I'm a host myself, so I know exactly how it works. So this shouldn't be any problems. Are we just going out to uh, the creepy friend Mike now? Hey, Mike! I'm here! I'm over here, Mike! Can't really remember what kind of... Oh, oh there we have him! The creep himself. Hello, Mike. He seems like a nice guy. Harp. Oh, give him a hug. Hello, friendy. Awkward moment. That's still how we hug people? Why don't you hug me like you missed me? Oh my god, he's, he's creeping me out already. 
Just a test hug to see if you smell if you smelled first. Let's go with that one. Fair enough. But for the record, I showered just for the occasion. Nothing is too good for Sydney Harper. Chuckle and long hug. Okay, let's go with that. We, we, we don't have any option. I didn't want it to give him a long hug, but let's just go with that. You look good. Uh, yeah, thanks for picking me up. Wouldn't have it any other way. It would be nice to have company on the way. This old truck brings back so many memories. Right? This bad boy has been through a lot. You can just throw your stuff in the back and we'll get on our way. So you're not gonna help me? What kind of gentleman are you? I'm gonna throw it in your face. That's what happens, man. That's what happens. Okay, I'm gonna do it myself then. Oh, sorry. Can we just place it right here? We need to open up first the details in these games. You cannot forget about the details. All right then, Harp. Are you ready to hit the road? Let's do this! Uh, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Where's Nora? She'll meet us there. Ready? The route through the city wouldn't have been a detour for her anyway. All right then, Harp. Let's close it and hit the road. And please don't kill me on the way, will ya? Four twenty six PM. It was starting to snow. You better keep your eyes on the road now, Mike. I'm warning you. Huh? Harp, isn't it weird? We used to dream about escaping our college and now here we are. Trying to escape from the life we wanted to live. Funny how that works. Change is just hard, like trying to adjust to the new job. How's your new job going? We're working on this project that uses machine learning to predict market trends. It's pretty cutting edge stuff. Sounds like you're shaping the future. It sounds like an important job actually. Not quite Tony Star Stark yet, but I'll take it. All right. You know, I never understood. What do consultants even do? Well, we consult. <laughs> the greatest answer ever. That sounds like important work. It sure is. Okay, we got a new message from the Airbnb host. Can you shut up, Mike? Harp, do you even miss college? Uh, only the cafeteria food. Holy, I miss those tacos. Yeah, those mighty old tacos. Uh, okay, I mean, please. Please, what's going on? Can we read the message from him or not? Did you see that school bus? There was a school bus. Maybe it's a project? You know, someone's idea of turning it into a tiny home on, on wheels or something. I've read people do that on the internet. Yeah, okay, whatever. Can we please read the message from the Airbnb host now, without getting interrupted? And there we are getting interrupted again! By a freaking re reindeer! Oh snap, that was close! You know, I read on the internet that in Native American lore, seeing a deer cross your path is like getting a message from the universe. Have you been smoking lots of pot lately, or, hmm? <laughs> Let's try to read the message. It's nearly 5 p.m. and I haven't received a confirmation text from you. I just wanted to shake a me- Please! Can you stop talking for fuck's sake? <laughs> Jesus Christ! How far is it now? Should be about an hour and a half from here. Do you know? Driving through the snow kind of feels like we're traveling through the- Intergalactic space? What the frick do you mean? Look at the way the snowflakes swirl around the headlights. It's like stars and galaxies rushing past us. I thought about that when I was a kid, actually. He's actually right about that. It's kind of beautiful. Yeah, can you shut up now? 
So anyhow, we wanted to check make sure everything is okay. The roads near Woodbury can be a little dangerous if you're not from the area. We're on our way and should be there around 6 p.m. The snow slowed us down quite a bit. Thanks for checking it. 5.14 p.m. Are we arriving now? This seems like a decent place. Yo, Harp! Check that out. Pizza! I'm in! I'm definitely in! Oh, nice. Let's do it! Let's eat some pizza! You know, Harp, I gotta tell you. These new GPS systems are something else. This pizzeria is exactly where it appeared on my GPS. It's like living in the future. I'm so hungry, I think I could eat a whole pizza myself. Me too. All right then, Harp. Operation Pizza Pit Stop. It's a go. Prepare to land. Let's go. Less talky, more eaty, maybe. That's a shitty truck you got there. Oh my god. Mike, what the hell? Are we driving in that? Jesus Christ. Oh, you're holding up the door for me. What a gentleman. Huh? You could have taken my bag too, but no. Come on in, Harp. Thank you. Hello there! This just in. How are you doing? Can I grab a slice? How's your day going? How are you? I'm Sydney. Look, Sydney. We're just here to enjoy our pizza in peace. Thanks for understanding. She doesn't want to talk with us. I hope you enjoy your meal. Okay, I'm going to back off and leave you guys alone. Whoa! Some space, please. Sounds like someone's having a bad day. Maybe All right, so are we going here to my buddy? Evening, folks. Looks like the Colts got everyone craving pizza tonight. You fine folks know what? Here's this fucking dude again. The backpack dude. What is he doing? Okay, you. What do you want to eat? We'll get three slice <laughs> slices each. I'll go with pepperoni, cheese, and a veggie. Three slices only? You were bragging about you. You were like able to eat a whole pizza. Did you forget about that, Mr. Mike? And for you, miss? I'll go with pepperoni too. Pepperoni is good. Let's go with pepperoni. Uh, second slice. Um, most special. Sounds good. And the third. Um, cheese. Any drinks? Of course we want drinks. That should cover us. Just the pizza today. Are you kidding me? Are you ordering pizza without drinks? That will be twenty-two fifty. Pay the man. Pay the man. All right then. Your order number is twenty-seven. Just grab a seat, and we'll call you up when your pizza is ready. All right then. Twenty-seven. Are we sitting here? Why does it look like you're having a stroke? Never mind, let's let's eat some pizza. Like friends do. Okay. So we're just gonna sit here and stare into each other like creeps. Long sniff. It smells so good in here. I bet it does. Oh, message from Nora. Oh, you guys are going to hate me. I swear, I'll get on the road as soon as I can. But something last minute popped up. I'm not going to bore you with all of the details. The long and short of it is one of my clients needs a last minute change. Their payments are about the only thing keeping the lights on. I hate to leave so late, but I've got to keep them happy. I'll have this logo done before you know it and be on my way. All right, so she's getting late. Doesn't really matter. It's not the whole world. I mean, everyone gets late every now and then. So uh, no worries about that. I really hope our order is ready soon. Are you working back there? Are we gonna... Did you listen to Nora's voice message in the group? Yeah, I just saw. Looks like she'll be late. That's a bummer. 
I guess we'll have to start the fun without her. What do you mean with fun? Come on. Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. What is it talking about? Order number 27, you folks are right here. Okay, cool. Let's grab it. Let's grab some pizza. Oh, well, some pizza. Oh, I want some pizza. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, you gotta eat it here. Oh, yeah, you gotta eat it. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. All right, you folks are all set. Thank you very much. We're good to go. Let's eat. This looks really good. I'm gonna start with the pepperoni. Consuming. Oh, damn, this pizza slaps. Like I'm gonna do on your ass later. Kidding. Can't believe Nora is missing out on this bomb ass pizza. I know, right? Okay, eat it up. Only three slices? I would never end up full on that. Okay. Damn, Harp, you actually eat the crust? Of course. It's kind of wasteful not to do, don't you think? I'd eat a tire if I was hungry enough. It's kind of wasteful not to do, but I, of course you eat the crust. I guess, but you wouldn't really eat the peel of an orange, would you? Oh, that, you, can, you cannot compare it with that. Jesus Christ, what's wrong with you? The crust is a part of the pizza. It's the same dough. It's not a freaking shell or something like that. Of course you eat the crust. Let me know in the comment section below if you eat the crust on the pizzas. And if you don't do that, I will be disappointed in all of you. Maybe not, but still a little bit. <laughs> eat that shit up so we can hit the road again. Come on. Come on, take the last piece. Alright, the pizza was perfect fuel for the last leg of our trip. Let's get up. Wait, were we able to burp? And I missed that? Oh, a text message from Nora. Those dudes are trapped in an infinite loop, it seems. <laughs> what are they doing? Get a room! Okay, so drive slow and don't worry, make sure blah 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 blah. She answered us. Nothing special. Are we just going? Are we just gonna leave? How's your pizza, sir? You look really happy. That's good for you. So, uh. What are you doing, folks? Do you need to get a room? I guess so. Are we just gonna talk to him or? Oh, that bug was. I didn't know we were supposed to do that. You were standing in the way. That was good. All right then. Are you ready to hit the road? Maybe we can beat the worst of the snow. Give me the keys. Harp, the weather is awful. Why don't you drive part of the way home? I'm going to drive so you can get a break. Take a break while I while I drive, Michael. I'm afraid of what kind of break you're going to give me, Harp. You'll be afraid if you don't give me the keys. <laughs> Fine, but there's one condition. What is it? I get first choice of bedrooms when or if we get there. Whatever. Take keys. Man, it's really pissing me off already. So we get to drive now. That's cool. Give me to go. Five forty-nine p.m. Where are we going now? In Vermont. This is your host on WKWB. And, and Let's Stay hit home. the road. It is so much snow right now. Holy shit! Let's hit the gas, Mike. Woo! Yeah, baby! Oh my god, there's a car! Jesus, that was close! You good, Mike? You're good. You're good. You feel safe now when I'm driving, don't you? Can't really remember exactly how the place looked like. Woodbury, we need to go to the right. We need to go in here. 
You got some good vibes on the music here. Good vibes. I don't know exactly where we're going now. Let's keep on going this way and hope for the best. Do we have any numbers on the houses? I'm trying to fill your heart, but writing on a shitty screen. And I promise you will be about the strife, but my life so This looks kinda like the house actually. Trying to get a good song, but can't get it if I try. So I sit up in my room, right, reflecting on my life. I don't know why I'm We're gonna give it a try. We got some signs over here. Here we are. Is it the place? My legs fell asleep. One second. This is the place. Okay, well here we have a number. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, here we are. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Let's get up. Let's get out of the car. Let's check the surroundings. 241! Cool! It was a quaint little house in a quiet old neighborhood. It's pretty nice. Oh, they got a basement like that. You all see those in horror movies. and brrr. Not a good sign if you ask me. Okay, so... The key should be out here in the box, and we had a code for it. It was 5176. Hello? Is it this one? Okay. Slide to open. Oh, there we go. Wait a minute. So, 51... Seven, six. There we go! Awesome! We got the house keys! Let's do this! Let's open the door, lock it up, and there you go! You can go in and find your bedroom because I'm definitely not gonna share it with you. What a great place! I knew we could count on you. It smelled so nice in here. Right? But I, but I really need to hit the door okay while I'm gone can you put these groceries away should be enough space in the fridge sure I can do that I can do that I can do that, I can do that. where's the groceries do we have them already or and oh here we have them of course Sorry about that. I have to open the cooler first, of course. Throw it down on the floor. Open it up and let's place the groceries in the refrigerator. Zat. Pap. And that. And that. And that should be right there. There we go. And I had to close the mini fridge before picking it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there we go. It's all set. Now we can't place. Oh, view, view. Sorry about that, Arp. Are you okay? Long drive and all that pizza really did a number on me. Uh, okay. Well, all the groceries are put away. Thanks for handling that, Arp. Anyway, this place looks crazy nice. It's got that rustic charm you don't see anymore. Uh, hang on, I really need to pee. You can go ahead. I'll start unpacking our bags. Thanks. Lots of conversations in this game. Lots of them. Let's go to the bathroom. The smell alone told me pizza had really done a number on my ache. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. I don't want to know details like that. Jesus, why are you sharing this with me? Text Rick. All right, hi, we have checked in. How's it going with uh, our friend Nora? She hasn't write anything. Okay, peeing is done. We can continue in our lives. Should we wash our hands? I guess that's a good idea. 
As I mentioned, I love the details in this game. You have to do everything step by step, just like in reality, and yeah. That makes it even better. Get away from me, Mike! The feeling after the drive... Uh, much better now. So, ready to check out the place? Sounds good to me. After you. You are creeping me out. So I really hope that we're friends. Let's start with the top floor. Look at this place! Really nice! Here's the- Oh! Who the fuck are you? Oh hey, you're here! Who are you? Welcome to my home! Sweet home! Why are you here? You shouldn't be here! You should be somewhere else when you're renting out your place to people. That's how it works. What a lovely young couple. No, 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 we're not a couple. Ah! <laughs> He's so disappointed now. Can you stand a little bit closer, Mike, please? I can fucking smell your breath right now. I can taste your lips. You didn't have to sell it that hard, Harp. I was just answering his question. He didn't ask his question, Sydney. He made a statement and you never mind. Oopsie daisy, silly me. It didn't mean to cause a stir with you two. We didn't expect anyone to be here. Oh, um, I was out looking for my cat earlier and I remember the TV was has been on the fridge here. Just thought I'd stop by and try to get it working again. Since the last few folks left a bad word for it. But you've been texting with me. You could have said that. He could have mentioned that in the text message. You know, they say treat your guests like family. My family doesn't go without TV. Speaking of that. Now that your folks are here, let me show you around my sweet home. Right now? I'd be a bad owner if I didn't give you the grand tour. Alright. Uh, whatever makes you happy, man. Host was a middle-aged man with a nervous energy. He has a creepy energy. Right from the start, his presence made us uncomfortable. Yeah. Mike is pretty uncomfy. <laughs> okay, what about this? Here's your shower. That thing make you feel like you're bathing under a waterfall in the Amazon jungle. You don't have to overdo it, man. Oh, this sink doesn't work, unfortunately. Not to worry. I'll get it fixed for you real soon. Let me show you the other bedroom now, okay? I don't know about this, Mike. I mean, it's a cozy place. Look, Harp, this room has nice-ass view. Y'all think that's nice, mister? Wait until I show you the deck. Follow me now, please. After you, sir. And after you, Mike. And this creepy music in the background? It gives you the tense feeling. Is this the view? Is this the view? We're like two meters up. Holy smokes, this is incredible. No, it's not. Incredibly cold. Glad you folks like it. This is one of my favorite spots. The view of the creek is beautiful. It's a great spot for fishing too. Oh, all right, folks. Let's head back in before I catch the cold here again. All right, so we got a good fishing spot somewhere here nearby. Can we even go fishing now? It's, it, it's snowing outside. It's not... I don't feel like it. And here's a storage room. Yep. If you need anything, tools, extra blankets, whatnot, it's all in here. If the power ever goes out, you can use this flashlight here on my right. Storms like these, you never know. Thanks. Alright folks, let's head downstairs. He really wants to show us the entire place. So you have any friends, pal? I guess not. 
Because you're doing this for too long right now. Alright, folks. I see you already stocked up the fridge with some tasty food. You see the knob? Turn the knob up for more cooling and down to cool it off. It tends to keep it low in the winter. The bill gets out of control. Speaking of winter, I better show you folks the water heater. I guess we have to. Guess we have to. It's so creepy of him to like show us around and like opening the fridge, caring about what we like filled it up with. Are you coming, miss? <sighs> yes, I'm coming. I'm being forced to it, so uh At least I'm glad our friend is with us. No access to guests, okay? We got a creepy basement here. And now? But, uh, um, nothing to worry about down here. Just a water heater and some old storage stuff. If it ever gets, if it ever stops working, just hit the button at the bottom. The pilot light will fire right up and you'll be back in business. So hit the button at the bottom. Oh, it's that one. Can I touch it now? No. Are you coming, mate? Yeah, 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 I'm coming. Jesus, stressing me out. I'm trying to explore the place. Hey, sir. What's the deal with that room over there? Nothing you two need to concern yourselves with. I kind of use this basement as a storage Renters don't need the space. They're really out of out of keep upstairs. Okay, well, I, I was just curious. Let's move on. Stop being so curious, Mike. Uh, what are you doing? Are you are you are you still waiting for me? Seriously? Huh? Did I mention? Well, no. Maybe I ought to keep it go to myself. The fella I bought this house from, well, told me this mother died down here. Some guests have reported hearing voices at night, said they could hear something shuffling around down here. Are you kidding me? Not to scare you folks, but if I were one of you, I wouldn't really step down here. Oh, really? <laughs> The looks on your faces. <laughs> He's just messing around. Come on now, I'm just joking. Okay. At this point, my creepy meter was quietly pinging around a 6 out of 10. Mine is already up in 10. I can tell you that. I'm coming. Alright, folks. Snow is starting to pick up. I'm gonna hit the road now. I'm gonna find that damn cat. Thanks for showing us around, mister. Bye-bye. Jesus Christ! Do you do you ever leave? What's the name of the booking? I must be getting old. It's Sydney. Sydney Harper. A pretty name for a pretty girl. Okay. Stop it. Stop. He's creepier than you, Mike. Is it just me, or is that dude super weird? Yes, he's very weird. Anyway, let's go and see if there's anything good on TV. Actually, I'm going to take a quick shower. Cool, I'll find something to watch while you're in there. Chuckle. Let me know if it feels like you're under a waterfall. What a weird guy. Yeah, thanks. See you in a bit. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Mike. Let's go out. Up and take a shower, will we? And the TV is still... Shut it off. I don't want to listen to that. Let's step straight into the shower, will we? See if it's as special as he said. All right. Oh, we need to close the door. But right, you gotta get undressed first. Or is this how you shower? Just asking. There we go. Shower is completed. Grab the towel because the details. The details, my friends. 
And do we have to close the door after us? Let's do it, just to be sure. This doesn't work. Let's give it a try. Tap didn't work. Okay, he wasn't lying. That's good to know. I guess we're going back to Mike now. Or are we going to check the bedroom first? There's a book here. Okay, nothing in particular here. I think. Nothing creepy. No. Okay, let's go back to Mike. Or should we check something here first? Oh, this is the the nice view. Well, I guess it's I guess it's okay. Better close the door. Keep the cold outside. Let's go back down. Hello, Mike. Check this out. I found this fishing rod in that shed. Planning to catch dinner? Now that you mentioned, that would be a pretty epic addition to the trip. Let's do it! Hell yeah, follow me. There's another rod in this shed, so we can both give it a shot. Cool. Let's go for some fishing. That's, that, that's a good start of the vacation. Awesome. Do you want to grab the other fishing rod, Harp? Yeah, just give me a second. Give me a second. Here we go! Now we can go fishing! Oh snap, I saw a killer recipe for your... For baked carp. We'll need to catch three carp, though. You up for the challenge? I'm in, bro. Well, first things first. We need the right bait for carp. Check out this bait information board. Whenever you are ready... Grab a carp bait and let's head to the creek. We're going to catch some carp, harp. <laughs> carp, harp. Please don't make rhymes with my name. Let, let me grab the bait. Okay, let me just grab the bait. I'm going to hook you straight into the mouth. Like that. I'm gonna tickle you with this freaking hook and drag your eyes out. No, maybe not. I'm sorry. That was, that was too much. Okay, so carp, 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 carp. Crankbait. Let's see. We got She's the Light. Common Carp. Uh, so it looks like we need to use. I just want to check this one. She's the Light. Common Carp. Blue Grill Chub Goldfish. Uh, yeah, we need to go with the She's the Light. And the she's delight is right there. Let's go! Let's go for some fishing! Yeah boy, let's go for some fishing! Oh boy, man. What is this bait? She's delight? Some kind of cheese? Can you really use that for fishing? Let me know if you've ever tried that. I've never heard of that, ever. Come on, Arp! This way! I'm on my way! I'm on my way. Right mouth button to put on hook. I hope those carps are biting today. You sure do. Okay, so I want to throw this bait away and then I want to sit down. Le left mouse button to cast. I'm going to throw it straight there just to piss you off. Yeah, we crossed the lines. Too bad for you, huh? All right, so we're gonna are we gonna just wheel it in? Did I lose the bait? Oh, no way! Are you kidding me? Okay, so more bait. Let's try to catch the big one. But this is also like fishing in real life because I never catch anything, so. <laughs> This is a real life scenario for me. <laughs> so sad. Oh, there we go. There we go. Reel in. Reel in. Come on. Oh, we're gonna use that one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I didn't know how to do. I didn't know how to do. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Keep the fish in. There we go. Nice one. Blue Jill? No, we, we want carp. Come on, we want some carp. So now I know when you hear the bubbly sound, you need to uh, try to hook the fish. I didn't know that at first. So throw it in. Wait for the sound. There we go. Ah, 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 ah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, boy. Yes! A carp! That's a keeper. They say whenever there's one carp, there's always more. Okay, let's keep on working then, Mark. Okay, let's do it, let's do it. Come on. You're mine, little fishy. Yeah, boy. Throw back. I don't want a Jill. I want a carp. Finally a carp. Just one more carp left. You got this. Please let it be a carp. Yay! Finally! Looks like we got three carps. Do you want to head back and throw these in the oven for dinner? Let's do it. I couldn't be more ready. We've been here for too long already. I just want to proceed with the game and we're just standing here and fishing out in the cold. I'm hungry now. And I'm getting hangry. Alright, so put this... Back? Can we just put it back or are we just going back with the... I just throw it right there, I don't give a shit. Um, back to the creepy music. Let's go in. Is this one opened? What the hell? Whoa! While I'm cleaning the fish, do you mind prepping the marinade? Sure. Just take a bowl and throw it in ginger paste, cooking oil, black pepper, salt, Italian seasoning, paprika, and yogurt. Am I supposed to remember all of that? I'm going to take a photograph just to be sure. There we go. Okay. I'm on it. So. I don't know what that is. Oh, it says... Okay. That didn't go. What should I do with this then? Throw it back. We need some black pepper... Where's the black pepper? Is this black pepper? Yeah. There we have it. Black pepper. And salt. And then we're gonna need some olive oil. I could see the olive oil, oil right there. There we go. And then we need... Italian seasoning ginger paste there we go frozen yogurt that'll, that'll be okay what is italian seasoning is this the one yeah there, that's the one that's the one and then some paprika and then we're good to go we need this paprika there we go okay good to go and now do you mind throwing the fish and the marinade in the Casserole while chop these veggies on it. Okay, where's the casserole? Here we got it. No. Oh, you need this one. I had to add the fishes first. Okay, place it. <laughs> place it right there. <laughs> where's the fish? Here's the fish. First one there. Second one there. And that's about it. Okay. Marinade and veggies. Marinade. Boom. Everything is done. How's the veggies going? Now you could add the veggies. Yes. I really needs to go for 30 minutes at 400. Okay. So let's do it. Boom. Oh. Is that it? I don't have to do anything else. Those carp are going to taste amazing. 
While we wait for it to cook, how about we play some board games? I saw some in the room next to the living room. I guess we could. Just grab whatever catches your eye. Can't wait to see that you pick. I saw some in the room next to the living room. Okay, okay, let me see. Some board games, huh? Oh, here we have some board games. Ouija! Of course we're gonna go with the Ouija board. Yeah, baby, let's do this. Come on. Hey! Do you wanna die? <laughs> I got a great plan for it. Is that a Ouija board? Yes, it is. Molly once told me how she contacted her dead grandma through one of these boards. I can't stand her spiritual bullshit. Hey, remember how the dude was acting weird about the basement? What if we tried this down there? That's a great idea. Alright, let's go. Or just a terrible idea. Let's go down the basement then. Watch out for spiders down here. You should watch out for demons down here, my friend. Don't worry about the spiders. We got a freaking Ouija board. <laughs> Okay, you strong man. Where are you putting the table? Right about there. Okay, let's 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 do it. You know what will make things even spookier? Candles. Let's turn off all these lights and see if it, this thing really works. Okay, okay, okay. I guess I have to do it first. I guess I have to do it first. Turn on the light. Uh, turn off the lights. That one too. Where can I turn it off? Is that enough? Yeah, that was enough. Anyways, do you know how this works, Harper? Yes. All right then, you go first. Are there any spirits who wants to talk to us? Let's go with that one. G. No way, are you moving it? That wasn't me. Okay, I got one too. Go ahead. How's the afterlife treating you, buddy? Hey, be respectful. Okay, are you friendly? Let's go with that one. Please. Please be friendly. Please. My turn. They never answered. Come on, buddy. Give us a sign. Let us know you're here. Holy crap! What the hell, Mike? What are you doing? I'm not usually one to believe in ghosts or spirits. But I'd be lying if I said I didn't feel uneasy that night. Well, you just played with the Ouija board, so, I mean, come on. What do you expect? And Mike! The one who didn't believe in these things, he ran away like a little sissy. Oh, how you doing, Mike? Are you good? There's some freaky shit going on down there, Harp. That was weird. The weird part is that you ditched me. You mean weird how... <laughs> you mean weird how you left me? You ditched me. What the hell, Harp? I figured you would move your ass too. Wouldn't have been nice if you had checked. Have you ever heard of fl fight or flight? Sydney, I'm sorry, okay? Whatever. Okay, the fish is ready now. I think our show is about to come on. You want me to watch TV while we eat? Sure. Let's uh, do it. 
He's just sitting there waiting for us. Pour Let's do it. The gasoline into this pot. Make sure not to use whole gasoline. <laughs> Using really gasoline? What the hell, dude? Maybe use two percent. Let's eat it. Nom 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 nom. Do not use diesel. So after letting the gasoline. I love the TV order, shows, by the way. Put in our I just love them. I'm using some stuff I found in my grandmama's basement. Okay. But you can use whatever kind Eat it up. you like. Eat it up. Eat it all up. Fantastic. That good old carp. Once the gasoline tastes fully yummy, doesn't it? Into the noodles. Yum 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 yum. It's I was done with it. Kind of scientific. Harp, that was some damn fine who, food. Twice as good since we caught the fish ourselves. It was really good. We make a great team, Harp. Good. Hey, anyways. Now that I need to good, check my emails check real quick. Left my laptop upstairs. Okay, I thought we were taking uh, a break from work. It's not fire, work. I'm just waiting sure on the shipping details for my new DS. Well, damn. Uh, I'll uh, be right damn, back. All right, burnt. I'll clean uh, up here. I, I, I'm not eating this. Let's but, get up. But, but not to worry. Let's I grab the dishes. And clean up after him. And we're going to clean it. Dishwashing. What is going on on the TV show? It's freaking me out. Okay. So the dishes are done. Everything is cleaned. Uh, is he texting us? I think there's someone under my bed right now. Can you come upstairs? He's just messing with us. He is just messing with us. What's up? Don't make sounds. Walk slow. He's gonna scare us. He's gonna scare us. I knew it. I knew it. Gotcha. You didn't get me. What the hell? My, I, I, you were lucky I didn't break your nose. My good looks are half of my charm, Harp. Don't mess them. Don't mess them up. I'm sorry. Don't mess them up. I totally got you. That was fun, wasn't it? It's not cool. Come on. It was just a joke. You want to go for the next round? What do you mean with next round? How about a game of uh, hide and seek? You are adults, you don't play hide and seek. No, I don't want to do it. I'll get back to you for this. Whatever you say, Sydney Harper. Alright, you're on. I'll count to ten. He's still doing it. Doesn't really matter what we say. Okay. Decided to hide in the basement. That's a good option because he's so scared of the basement. I thought it was the doorbell. But it's just the creepy music going on right now. Let's go down the basement. And hide. Where should we hide? In this room? No access to guests? Okay, it's locked of course. Maybe we can hide. Yeah, right there. That's a creepy place. Oh, this... We have to be quiet now. We have to be quiet. So he won't hear us. I wonder if we can scare him. That would be fun. Gotcha! <laughs> that wasn't even a challenge. 
I figured you could be good at this since I ever find you in the city. Maybe you need to look harder. All right, my turn to hide now. You better close your eyes and start counting. Yes, I guess I will. I'm closing my eyes. Press space to close eyes. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. You can't hide. You son of a bitch. Where could he hide? Someone like Mike. Uh, it's not in here, is he? No. There's no... There's no space to hide in there. Not in the bathroom. No. Let's check the top floor. I think he's up here somewhere. Definitely. Hmm. This door is closed now. Maybe somewhere in here. Maybe in here. There he is! You suck! You really suck! Gotcha! Hang on, Harp. I think I heard something upstairs. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. You gonna try this again? No, kidding, Sydney. I really heard something sliding up there. You didn't hear it? No, I did not. I swear on my life, I heard something. I see this attic access door in here. No. I don't want to go up in the attic. Are we supposed to go up there? Couldn't reach it without the step stool. Where's the step stool? Uh, there we have it. Let's give it a try. And. But what am I supposed. Okay, I supp I'm supposed to stand right on it. Okay, like that. Let's have a look. I can't believe I'm the one who's looking. He could go up here by himself. That would be much more appropriate. We can look out at the cozy neighborhood from here. A pretty nice place. And this place is a hellhole because I hate places like this. <gasps> whoa, whoa, whoa! That's a cat! That's a little cat! Hello! Oh, aren't you cute? Yeah, you like that, don't you? Yeah, I'm gonna rub your ass until you go crazy. <laughs> no, that was inappropriate, I know. Sorry about that. Uh, I don't know what else we can do. Should we just tell him that it's just a cat? Hey, buddy! No worries, it's just a cat. Nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> and I was just closing the cat. <laughs> oh, we just kept the cat up there. Sydney, are you okay? What was up there? It was just a cat. Looks like you aren't the only pussy in the house. <laughs> it was just a cat. Oh, that's a relief. I was worried there for a minute. I think she was hungry. Oh yeah, maybe we can give her one of the carp after I come find you again. Are you gonna play it again? Jeez. I decided to hide in the tool shed in the backyard. So let's hide in the tool shed. That's always a great idea, isn't it? We can... Are we just gonna stay in here? Not try to hide anywhere? We can peek out here, maybe. See if he's looking for us. Maybe not, maybe not. Oh, I, I, no, I don't have time fishing right now. I just want to make sure that I'm not supposed to hide somewhere in here. But I, I guess not. 
Let's have a look outside. Is he outside now? Oh, there he is! Trying to find me! Oh, he's coming! Ooh. There he is! Aha, there you are! Damn, Ari, it took me a while to figure out you left the house. Anything worth doing is worth doing well. My turn. Close those pretty eyes now. Why does he have to say like that? He's like onto me all the time. I'm getting tired now. Look, I'll hide in the house. We're headed back in anyway. You find me and we'll go to bed. Why is he so in for playing hide and seek? What's the deal with that? As I mentioned, we're adults. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten Mississippi. I'm ready or not, here I come. You can't hide. Blah, blah, blah. All those freaking things you're saying when playing this worthless game. Okay, so where did he go now? I'm gonna check the bathroom. Uh, no one in here. I don't think he went down the basement, to be honest. I don't think he has the guts for it, so we're gonna check upstairs. We're gonna check upstairs one more time. Anyone in here? What the hell? What is he doing here? What's going on? What happened? Why the hell are you in here again? I'm fixing the faucet. I got a problem with it. Oh my god, you should have told us. Miss, this is my house. I don't need to check in with you every time I fix something. But you can at least mention it. Say something. I've never seen anyone f fix a faucet with a hammer before. You never fix many faucets yourself, young man. Didn't think so. So I imagine you don't know what tools you need. So, uh, how long have you been here? Just got here a couple of minutes ago. If you heard anything before that, it must have been that old lady, remember? <laughs> Funny guy. Funny guy. Look, we needed to go to bed now. You asking me to leave, miss? Well, yes! No, Rick. She's being polite. We rented this house and would like to have it ourselves. I... We don't really want to have to call law enforcement. Mike, please let me handle this. <laughs> He's so weird! Look at that face! My god, ain't no cops in Woodbury, son. You think they're going to arrest the homeowner for fixing the faucet? I was just doing some work. If y'all can't handle that, it's your problem, not mine. You know what? If you folks don't like me fixing the faucet, I'll leave you to it. We're not gonna fix the faucet anyway, okay? Hey sir, don't call me if it starts leaking again. No, get the hell out of here, you creepy old man. Let's follow him and make sure that he leaves. Just entering the house like that without saying anything, that is a that is a creepy behavior. Get the hell out of here, sir. Whew! That was intense. That was intense. And I don't like that we pissed him off right now because he's probably a psychopath, but still. After locking the door, we debated what to do. We agreed that there was something off about Rick from the start. He seemed like he enjoyed making excuses to come over unannounced. In the end, we decided Rick was weird, but probably harmless. We attributed his behavior to an extreme lack of social awareness. Yeah, that's probably the case. Look, we already drove all the way out here. Let's just enjoy ourselves, Mike said. But by this time, I was feeling really tired. I decided to go get some rest. Good idea. 11.39 p.m. It's really late now. It's 
Someone is knocking on the door. Someone is definitely knocking on the door. I'm coming. Harp, are you still awake? Hard to sleep when someone is knocking on the door. Do you mind if I come in? I'd really like to talk to you about something. Sure, come in. Let's close the door. Have a seat or whatever. Make yourself comfy. Let's talk. The storm is starting to get really bad. I can hardly see the truck in the driveway. I hope Nora is okay. Yeah, she hasn't even arrived yet. She'll be just fine, Sydney. Don't worry, I'm here to keep you safe. That's nice of you, Mike. Hey, it's no problem at all. Sorry, I was burping. Guys are supposed to watch over people they care about, right? What are you talking about? What a day, huh? This wasn't exactly how I thought our getaway was going to go, Sydney. It's been a strange day. Can you believe that guy? He just keeps wandering around the house like he owns the place. Well, he does. He does own the place, but he doesn't have to be a creep about it. He does own the place. You know exactly what I meant, Sydney. He shouldn't just barge in the place whenever he wants. We re rented the damn house. I mean, the guy is probably harmless, but I'm frustrated. You've also been a little difficult to deal with. You're right, Sydney. I'm really sorry. It'll help if we get both get some sleep. So why are you sitting in my bed? Why don't you come sit by me, Sydney? Why is he so creepy? I guess okay. What do you want? Aiming for a kiss or Harp, you know, I've missed this. Us, just talking. It's It's been so long. You know, you don't have to sleep alone tonight if you don't want to. Mike, where is this coming from? Would you be doing this if Nora was here? Where is this coming from? Tell me! Speak out! You act like you don't remember our trip to Oregon. I remember it pretty awkward. I didn't start out... Uh, oh, it didn't start out awkward though. Mike, we had a lot to drink. Things happened. They sure did. I'm hoping maybe they can happen again. Oh. SOS, please. Oh no. Nora is in trouble. I guess we've been meaning to talk to you about that. Oh, Mike, I don't know what to say. Okay, I don't know what to say. You just let me worry about the details, Sydney. Mike, I don't think this is a good time. So, Nora is in trouble. SOS. Oh, no, what happened? Guys, I think I'm about 70 miles away from Woodbury and my stinking tire just blew out. It's snowing and I'm on the side of the road on Highway 11 near Killington. There's a sign by the side of the road. It's hard to see. I, I think it says Kent Pond. The snow is like half of a deep and I can't get the lug nuts off the tire. <laughs> I hate to ask, but can you two come get me? I guess we have to. Jesus Christ, what a timing, huh? But I guess we can't leave Nora stranded. Let me get dressed and I'll meet you downstairs. No, we can't. We better get ready. Yeah, okay, we better get ready. No, Sydney, you stay here and get some sleep. There's no sense in both of us freezing our asses off. That's really nice, Mike. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. You're in pajamas and I'm still dressed. You just settle in and I'll go help Nora. That's really nice. Thank you. I always like doing things like nice things for you. Yeah, of course, you want to sleep with me again. That's why, you creep. Please be careful. I guess we shouldn't go to sleep now. We'll finish talking about this later, okay? Get some good rest and stay warm. If you really feel like we have to, I pff, I guess we have no other option. Are we supposed to sleep? 
I guess we give it a try. I couldn't have gone to bed without locking the front door. That's... That's a pretty good idea. Especially when the creepy old man is walking around here. We need to lock the front door. Uh, okay, piss off Mike. <laughs> I just closed the door straight in his face. Oh, why don't you get some rest while I'm gone? Are you sure it's safe to drive in this weather? Yeah, I think I'll crash for a bit. Look, make sure you take care of yourself, alright? Lock all the doors. You sound like my dad. Can you blame me? Before I go, how about a hug? I mean, just in case you're asleep when I get back, I kinda need one right now. No! Not now, Mike. Sweet dreams. Get some sleep, Sydney. Drive safe. Get out of here. Who is asking for a hug in a situation like this? Who does it? Okay. Did we lock the door now? Okay, I, I guess we did. That one is closed and this one is closed. I was getting on some sleep until Mike and Nora arrived. Uh, okay, I guess we, we give it a try. Let's go get some sleep. Hello, get some sleep. <laughs> Feels so good. I told myself things would get better if I just get some rest. Nora always knew how to cheer me up and I needed it more by the minute. With her arriving soon, I decided to rest in meantime. 12.39 a.m. I hope it's them. Someone was at the front door. Huh. Can we just peek out? Holy shit, relax. What the hell? Someone was out outside that was... Yeah, of course. Alert the hiker. I saw you there, my friend. Please open the door. I'm freezing to death out here. Uh, what are we gonna do? Are we are we just gonna open the door? Okay, let, let's give it a try. Do you have any idea what time it is? Look, friend, I know it ain't ideal with a uh, banging on your door in the middle of the night, but I'm in a bad spot here. I was counting on a ride from some friends. But they are running behind and won't be here for about two more hours. You can sit on the porch while you wait. You're not coming in. End of story. Or should we give it a try? No, we don't have any option. You're not coming in. End of story. Are you fucking kidding me? You're gonna let me freeze to death out here? I didn't make you go hiking in a snowstorm. That's a good point. That's a good point. I should have known you'd be a... Big a bitch here as you were back at the pizza joint. What? You think I didn't see you and your little boyfriend fishing in the creek earlier? I figured maybe you'd give me a chance this time. But looks like you're still unkind. What does that have to do with it? Jesus Christ, please, just leave or I'll call the cops. Ain't no cops around here. Speaking of, I don't see your fella's truck out here either. I'm dialing 911 now. Fine. Suit yourself? What do you mean? Uh, okay, okay, where's the phone? Do we have a... Should we just... Oh my god, I don't know what to do. But let me tell you something. You'll get what's coming to you for leaving me out here. Karma's a bitch, my friend. Did he leave now? Yeah, he left. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, now he's probably gonna return back. And beat the shit out of us. I don't know if I was supposed to use uh, 
a phone somewhere. Or if I'm just going with my cell phone. I couldn't keep my eyes open. I had to get some sleep. Okay, we're still going for the sleep. Still aiming for the sleep. Let's do it. Don't like this. What the hell happened right now? What? What is going on? Can we see something at this point? I have no choice but call for help. Jesus Christ. Rick, I'm sorry to bother you again, but I can you come back over? There's someone we met driving down here. He was banging on the door and started threatening me. I'm pretty scared and I think I hear him moving around outside the house. Could you please come look since you live so close? Please? And how about my friends? How's it going for Mike and Nora? No answer? I don't know if we should check for him around here. feels pretty unsafe to go down here. Can we look at the windows or something? Oh no, not again! Can it be him? Who is that? Despite how strange Rick has been, seeing him was a relief. Yeah, okay. Please, open the door. God, I'm happy to see you, man! What the hell's going on here? Oh, thank God you're here. Explain the situation. Yeah, I came as quickly as I could. I wouldn't worry about him anymore. And now? By the way, where's your friend? The guy who was with you earlier. Mike, he went to pick up our other friend. He should be back soon. Hmm. So you're all alone here right now, huh? Yeah, but my friends will be back soon. Why are you asking that, sir? He's giving me really bad vibes right now. What are you up to? What do you want, sir? Oh, that smile on his face, I don't like that. Storms like this bring out all kinds of folks. Which means, not all of them know when to stay away. So are you helping me or not? Come back over. What do you mean? I live in Burlington. I haven't been to the rental in weeks. No. What the fuck? Everything's okay, miss? Yeah. Of course. Awful late for texting, isn't it? Who are you talking to? It's my friends. They're almost here. Is that so? Yeah. Thanks for coming by though, or you can head back if you want. Yeah, thanks for coming by. I'll be fine now. You can head back if you want to. You sure about that? Yeah, just overreacted. Get the fuck out of here. Maybe I should stick around, make sure everything is really okay. You are not Rick, are you? Are we gonna question him? You're not Rick, are you? What did you just say? Confront. This is my fucking house. I will leave when I want to. You need to leave right now. Get out of here before I call the cops. What do you want? What do you want? I want what's mine. This house. And you. Of course. You're trespassing. 
Please, get out of here before I call the cops. I don't think so. If anyone is leaving this house... It's your mama. No. It will be one of us. Yeah, how about you? What is he doing? I don't get it. So that was one of the first challenges. What were we supposed to do there? Okay, let's try this again. Everything okay, miss? Yeah! It's my friends, they're almost here. Thanks for coming by though. I'll be fine now. You can head back if you want to. Yeah, I just overreacted. Maybe I should stick around, make sure everything is okay, blah 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 blah. You need to leave right now! What did you just say? Confront him. This is my fucking house, I will leave when I want to. Get out of there before I call the cops. I don't think so. If anyone is leaving this house, it will be one of us. Oh shit, he's fucking up now. Let's get out of here. Let's go, 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 go. That didn't work either. Okay, this time we're going to try to run up the attic, okay? Try to hide up there. At least we can give it a try, I don't, I don't know. We, we can go up to the cat and try to... Try to survive somehow. Maybe we can get a good old pet before he beat us to death. <laughs> oh, this is so fucking scary! No, 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 he's running! Come on. Run up the stairs. What is wrong with this game? Okay, this time we're going to try to run down and hide in the basement. We can... Yeah, run away, you filthy old man. We can try the place. Right here. Under the stairs where we were playing hide and seek, maybe. Jesus Christ, no, 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 no. Make a run for it. Let's run upstairs. Maybe we can run to the attic now. Can we run to the attic now? Pick it up. Fuck, fuck, fuck.
Is he here? Jesus, they need to stop calling me now. Oh, Jesus. Can we text them? Pick up the phone, sleep bad. We're almost there. Help me. Doesn't matter what we do. Subscribe to I am Jorgen. No? It's not the time? Okay. It's not the time. Oh, he's right there. Shut up, cat. Shh. Shut up. Just don't talk to the... I've called 911 right about time. Is he gone now? Did he leave? Oh, I shouldn't go down there. Is it him banging on the door? No. No, it's our friends. Where is the guy? Woo! Oh, thank God! Thank God! Oh my God! Thank you guys! Right about time. I told them everything that happened after Mike had left. Rick had called the cops. The storm has quite time by the time they arrived. And of course, the man was nowhere to be seen. Where did he go? On our drive back, the whole night played over and over in my head. We think that the man we saw recently, or no, we think that the man we saw secretly lived in that cabin when it wasn't being used and planned on robbing us during our stay. But cops seemed to think that there was more intent behind this man's actions aside from just robbing us. Yeah, he wanted me. Rick asked me what the man looked like and after that he didn't ask any more questions. We think he knew more than he was letting on. But in the end he gave us a full refund. <laughs> I'm really grateful for that. Imagine if we had to pay for that shit. We did it! We did it! Once again! And there are the cops. Looking for the guy. Another Fears to Fathom episode completed. And we did it! You and me! We did it! Finally! Good job. Good job by Rayal Studios. An Indian developer. Indian gaming developer. You know what? My camera just stopped working because my memory card was full. But as you all could see, this was the end of the game. It was another great story from the Fears to Fathom series. And I really enjoy all the stories in these games. I, I really enjoy the games overall and i really hope that you enjoyed this as well and if you did it please smash the like button subscribe to the channel and take care of each other and i truly hope i see you in the next one because you and me we need to continue play games like this okay take care thanks for watching bye bye